This week on The Aviators, we take it back to basics when examining the components used to build aircraft engines so that they produce the kind of power needed to make airplanes fly. Then join us in Olney, Texas, as we visit Air Tractor for a wild demonstration of this incredibly versatile aerial application aircraft. From the Wright brothers' first successful powered flight at the beginning of the 20th century until the dawn of the Second World War when the first gas turbine engine took to the sky, aircraft around the world all shared a significant commonality. They were all powered by piston engines. While technological advances realized since the advent of the jet engine have largely supplanted piston technology in many facets of modern aviation, the piston engine remains prevalent within the world of general aviation to this day. And if you count yourself as part of the general aviation community and have a piston power plant in your aircraft, then there's a pretty good chance it's a Continental. For nearly as long as aircraft have been in the skies, Continental Motors has been manufacturing engines, initially as the builder of truck engines for the United States Army, and ultimately entering the aviation arena with the creation of the Continental Aircraft Engine Company in 1929. Continental Motors has been in business for over 100 years. Michael Skolnick is the Vice President of Operations at Continental Motors. We started in the early 1900s in Muskegon, Michigan. In the 1960s, the facility moved down to Mobile, Alabama, and we've been here ever since. Today, bolstered by the operations of its home base in Mobile, Alabama, the aircraft engine manufacturer powers over 50% of general aviation aircraft. A major contributor to this achievement is also what makes their Mobile plant particularly unique within the industry. Yeah, this, this manufacturing plant is very unique, um, the fact of how vertically integrated we are. There's not much that you see in the finished product that isn't made at this facility here. Um, most of our components are made from raw forgings or castings, but through multiple machine operations, uh, various heat treating plating operations, and then into final assembly operations as well. And it all comes together to make the final product, which is the engine. Continental has deemed their process of building piston engines for aircraft from the ground up as the heart and soul of their operations. And taking a look around the Mobile plant, it isn't difficult to see why. The plant itself is divided into a number of compartments or feeder shops, each one solely dedicated to the production of an individual component of the engine. Most of the components begin as raw forgings or castings, which are first validated and tested for metallurgy before their introduction into a series of machining operations. As the raw forging undergoes a succession of roughing, grinding, and heating operations, amongst others, the process is also marked by such automated testing as in-machine probing and laser tool detection to ensure the quality of the component along the way. The technology at work within each individual cell is impressive to say the least, but in some cases, just sitting back and watching the transformation occur before your eyes is pretty cool on its own. Seeing a, a raw barrel forging come in that is basically a cylinder and watching it transform to a finished cylinder with fins on it is very impressive. We take roughly 15 pounds of steel off per barrel in, in two machine operations, which are the roughing operations. Once the barrel and the head are finished, they come together on the assembly line. The team member pulls the cylinder head out of the oven, installs the valve seats, and take an exhaust. Um, he also installs the guides on a machine. The machine uh, automatically presses in the guides and comes down and presses in the seats. 
It then shuttles over to a second operation where the team member hand starts the barrel and the machine comes down to torque the barrel into the head, mating them for life. Once each of the individual components has been manufactured, they will either be sent out to an aftermarket customer or they'll be prepared for their assembly into an engine. Once a customer orders an engine and those parts are pulled, they enter this room, which is engine assembly. All new and remanufactured engines come through this same process. They get input on a kitted tray. All the main components that are made at this facility are on that kitted tray. The gears are installed onto the crankshaft and the camshaft, and the connecting rods get installed to the crankshaft, and the cylinders get stuffed with the pistons. It then moves down to the next major operation where the engine is, is strung. A team member carefully guides silk thread around the split line of the crankcase, which performs, which acts as the gasket sealing surface between the two halves when they, before the engine's assembled. Following the stringing operation, the final series of installations occur as the crankcase is assembled, the cylinders are installed and torqued, and such accessories as the oil pump and starter adapter, as well as the fuel injection components are installed. Finally, once the engine is timed and the magnetos are installed, the engine is ready to be tested. Every new and rebuilt engine goes through the exact same testing procedures at engine test. The, the engine is mounted to a test stand. The test stand is installed to the test cell itself. The fuel lines, the oil lines, and any other sensor type equipment is installed um, on the test cell. The, the propeller is then mounted to the, to the engine, and the team member then begins the test. Once the engine has passed its testing, a certificate is printed and it's all ready to be packed and shipped to the customers. While Continental already has its future well mapped out, what has been and continues to be the true heart of its continued success is the team of craftsmen who leave their mark on each and every piece of one of their engines. You know, I think with, with the mindset of our company and, and global expansion and capital investment, and support for the team members doing the job, I think that really raises the morale. A lot of people take pride in what they do, and I think it was, it's very obvious walking around and seeing the team members and the operations that they perform.